Let's talk first about the shadow shape. This first concept is the one that I think everything else really echoes out of. And what we're talking about here really is what planes are hidden away from the primary light source. Recognizing and identifying the shadow shape then projects outward from there the identity of the light shape. Those values which are being influenced by, of course, that primary light source. By separating those two and organizing them, I have the basis and foundation for the values that I will later organize. It is important, though, that on each side of that divide, we have a relative degree of unity, more so within the shadows. I'm going to compress those shadow values because the range of value available to me on my palette is actually more narrow than the range of value available in nature. Think about it this way. Her dark hair, which is in shadow, is infinitely darker than the blackest black that I can paint onto the canvas, which will be fully lit due to the requirements of seeing the canvas while I paint it. By compensating and putting less variety within the shadows, I then have saved myself room for a greater degree of variety within the light shape, which, by no coincidence, is compositionally the more interesting feature within the painting. Putting it this way, it becomes very understandable how the phrase shadow is atmosphere and light is form is not only technical or even conceptual, in fact it is an ethos from which even compositional ideas can emanate. I find that very often the principles that I use in painting and the ones that I've learned over the years often have this in common. 